updated Eyewitness News, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. We've got ourselves a little bit of cloud cover down in Powderly, Kentucky, as we look at our Pogue auto camera down there. You can see the traffic up there as we approach lunchtime. But, yeah, certainly more clouds in play down to the south. And we had a big rain in McLean County earlier today, about two inches in two hours. It wasn't at Mama's place. It was not at it was, Livermore. It was, it was Livermore. <laughs> Just up. <laughs> Just up the road. Wasn't far from Mama. We know that. As we look at our Heads Construction Tower came out back, the trees are looking lush and green. Although, I'll tell you what, we are running a rainfall deficit for the month of July at the airport. But then you're sitting there looking at your rain gauge and I'm, I've had 10 inches, you know? And that's the way it's been. I mean, obviously in Livermore, they're not running any kind of deficit right now, that's for sure. Got a few fair weather cumulus clouds off to the west. Things look pretty good. The sky's a little bluer today, not quite as hazy, but we still have some humidity out there, just not as bad. We also have a traffic backup. Almost not quite to Warwick County yet, Angie, but they're getting close. Uh, that's, of course, heading in from Warwick County to the east side of Evansville on the Lloyd Expressway. And they've got some traffic issues. They have had for the past, we're all week long, I think. They've been working on that one lane. Anyway, we're looking out toward a partly cloudy sky. And I love how you see like this, just the shadows casting down upon the river from the clouds that are overhead. But still plenty of sunshine. And that's what I'm expecting, really. Pretty good mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. Dew points down to 67. A lot better than yesterday when we were in the mid-70s. It was sweltering out there. Now, it's still going to be fairly hot. We're going to be up around 90 degrees for a high. But that's typical for the 11th day of July. The average high is 89. North wind at 6 miles an hour. Always nice to get a north or northwest wind this time of the year. Can we do a temperature run? I don't see an 83 out there. Yeah, I do. 82 degrees Lagodi, 83 Fairfield, 84 Carmi, 85 degrees Owensboro, 86 Tell City, 87 degrees nowhere. 88 degrees, though, in Madisonville. So pretty good run through the 80s. You factor in the humidity. Yesterday at this time, I was showing triple-digit heat. Now, disregard Tell City. Something's wrong with that gauge. Anyway, 88 is what it feels like it is. 88 in Jasper, 90 degrees. So it feels like temperature in Owensboro, but that's about as hot as it gets. 92 Madisonville is actually as hot as it gets most of us in the 80s. So you can tell the dew point, the humidity is down a little bit, and things are looking a lot better. A few false returns around the site. Uh, the radar or here in the backyard actually is where our first warning Doppler is. But as we look at the regional radar and satellite picture, everything's firing up to our east, and that's where the cool front is starting to slide. So we're on the back side of the front. We're going to notice it more tomorrow than what we do today. But that humidity is dropping. And, of course, it's still pretty warm out there, but we'll be in the mid-80s for a high tomorrow. And we still have a chance for maybe a stray shower popping up, according to our future tracker down to the southeast. Hancock, Ohio, Muhlenberg County would have the best chance for catching a stray shower or thunder shower, but not expecting anything severe. That threat is going to be to our east. If you are traveling to Lexington, Cincinnati, that's where you could have a few issues on the road this afternoon. Now, as we head into the evening, still a few clouds hanging around out there, but tonight, I mean, it's going to be delightful. Temperature's going to be dropping down into the mid-60s for an overnight low, mid to upper 60s, and the humidity is going to drop down. We're going to be in the low 60s dew point wise throughout the day tomorrow. So Friday's still looking like the pick day by plenty. And as you can see, uh, we've got plenty of sunshine expected tomorrow. Well, this could impact us next week. It's going to impact the Gulf Coast soon enough. This is Tropical Storm Barry now. It's a second named storm of the season. The first was Andrea and that was didn't last long. It was out in the Atlantic and pretty much fizzled out as soon as it became a subtropical storm. But this right here is moving away from the Florida Panhandle. So good news for Floridians. We got pummeled, of course, by Hurricane Michael last year. Uh, but it is strengthening, and it should become a 50-mile-per-hour storm off the coast of Louisiana. And that's where it looks like it's going to make landfall. Of course, this is Friday night, 7 o'clock. Looks like it'll be Friday night, Saturday morning when it makes landfall. Pretty much as a Cat 1 hurricane. You can see 75-mile-per-hour winds. It's going to continue to work its way to the north. And, of course, it's going to weaken a little bit, as it does. But it looks like it's going to stay as a Cat 1 through the state of Louisiana. So that's going to cause some problems with the heavy rain and the winds of 70 to 75 miles an hour. And then as it works its way up the Mississippi River Valley, it's going to start to influence our weather. Now, keep in mind, this is at 7 o'clock in the morning on on Monday. It's still on the other side of Memphis. But as you know, we work through our day through the or work our way through the day on Monday and Tuesday, it's going to be impacting us with rain. And I think we'll have some pretty gusty winds. You can see, I mean, Memphis is going to get some 30 mile per hour winds from this system, even though it's weakening. High today, rain free for the most part, is going to be in the upper 80s for most of us. Could see a few 90s on the board. And I think we will hit 90 at Evansville, but a lot of places staying south of that. With a northwest wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour, the chance for rain uh, very small and down to the southeast. Most of us don't see a drop out there. Friday, Saturday look pretty good as we've got just a delightful day tomorrow. That's the pick day. Uh, it's 
going to hit 90 on Saturday. Not quite that humid, though, but it will get more humid on Sunday. And there's the impact of Barry on us next week as that rain chance really starts to ramp up. Well, we're ramping up. Are we going to do some Whitland over here? I see, I see a block of wood. Hey, we haven't seen Whitland in a while. And uh, Lifestyles continues. We'll surprise you coming up right after this.